Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Angelica, aka Your Fuzzy Scarf. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have an awesome haul, first of its kind for me. It is from Molly Green. So this is a store, um, I don't know if it's all over nationally, um, but we have two in Nashville, um, in the Opry Mills Mall, and in Green Hills. So it's a really fun store. I didn't see any of them when I lived in New Jersey. Um, I'd say it's a little bit more higher end than Forever 21, but it has similar trendy styles. And so today there was a warehouse sale. I was made aware of it on Facebook. Hold on. <laughs> And um, I had to go and see what was up because it said everything was like 5, 10, 15, 20 and $25, nothing over 25. Um, so of course I checked it out. My husband was nice enough to come with me and this is what I got. A whole big bag in this gorgeous little floral shopping tote here. Um, and I wanna share everything that I got. So if you are interested in seeing what I got, then just stick around. Okay, so this was a lot of fun. I think that when you go to a store, I mean, this is why I love places like Forever 21 so much. When you go to a store and you know that you can afford everything in the store, that is an exciting time because how often does that really happen? Um, not that you can buy everything, but that you can buy some things that you want. Anything you want, you know you can buy. Um, so when this warehouse sale happened, I was like, shit, I gotta find out about it. I gotta go and see what I can pick up. So I think I got maybe like seven or eight things. Um, a little bit of a variety of stuff, some stuff that I typically would not buy. Um, so that also is really fun. It takes me out of my comfort zone to have a really awesome sale. Um, and I will show you what I got. So I recently did a Forever 21 haul where I was talking about fake glasses and how I'm really into them right now. I'm literally just gonna like pick out of the bag as I talk. Um, so with this, I kind of kept that trend going. I got a pair of fake glasses <laughs> that are red. They remind me of Sally Jesse Raphael. Did you guys ever watch that show? Were you old enough? Probably not. Oh, they're dirty. Um, but you can always see the reflection of the ring light. But these are so fun. Um, I've already worn them in a picture. Like the second I got them, I was like, I have to put them on for this picture. I'm always taking my Instagram pictures for your fuzzy scarf on Instagram. Um, but anyway, these are so cool. And I would never in a thousand years actually buy these like with a prescription inside of them. So it's so awesome that I'm able to try them out. They were $10. So really, really cool. I think they're originally 16 in the store so got a six dollar discount on them and i am sure to wear these even more um than probably some of my other fake glasses because they're like a pinkish red color how cool is that okay, so next up i got a pair of sunglasses these sunglasses are just so cool um everything reminds me of something obviously that's like my thing but they kind of remind me of kurt cobain um to be totally honest a little bit and also like a space monster, but a combination, um, a grungy space monster. But I think they're so cool. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of these, these this summer. Um, I just really like how big they are because I have a big face and so they don't actually even look that big on my face. Um, I just thought these were great. They were also $10. Okay, so next up to get some of the heavier things out of the way, I got a pair of shoes. I got one pair of shoes. I probably would have bought more to be totally honest. It's not that I had willpower. It is simply that they didn't have my size. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know that if it's a good enough sale, I will buy them even if they're not in my size. And these were not in my size. These were seven and a half, I wear a nine. Um, I did try them on, they were originally $58, I got them for 15. Um, I don't know that I would have ever bought these for $58, so I think that is like a kind of a rip off, I'm really sorry. Um, but maybe they always had a sale on them or something like that. They just jacked up this price way too much because this is a brand, um, Cupid with a Q, that I see all over the place. I mean, every single like affordable retailer has the Cupid shoe brand and I've never seen them for $58. I just think that's really high. I don't wanna harp on that. But these um, were 15 and at 15, this is a steal because I would have paid more than 15 for these. This is a gorgeous pattern. They're pretty well made, I, I will say. Um, I love them actually. I mean, they're beautiful and I, I have a ton of booties. I mean, you can see how many shoes I have, but I don't have any quite like this. I love that um, the zipper is on the side here and I will definitely wear these for pictures and stuff. I mean, look at how pretty they are. Absolutely gorgeous. I know that one day these patterned booties are gonna go out of style because they've been in style for so long now, but I I mean, it might be the kind of thing like the, um, like the tribal prints and like the Aztec prints that, 
like I don't even know if they're on sale anymore but I still love them so much that I'll wear them so this might be another thing like that because these are gorgeous and I can't imagine not wearing them so glad I bought those okay so now the clothes on to the clothes clothes make me so happy I mean they don't make my bank account happy at all I am like I'm such a shopaholic. I get scared sometimes like at night when I'm because like my hobbies are to look online and shop and that is so fucking dangerous. Like it, that's like, basically as bad as being a gambling addict except that you always have a casino right in your house. Like it's really bad. Um, and sometimes I wish I was independently wealthy. In fact, there's never a time that I don't wish I was independently wealthy. Um, and maybe in a past life I was and that's why I think I can get away with this. Um, but if I was independently wealthy in a past life then I probably would not be such a sales shopper. <laughs> I'd have more expensive taste. Um, but anyway, so this is the first piece of clothing that I got. You like how I segue into something super weird and then back to clothes. Um, but this is really, really cute. This is a... Um, like a dress like a really long dress as you can see here um i haven't actually even really looked at these that well myself to be perfectly honest um it's sheer so you definitely have to wear something underneath the sleeves are super super cute they have like a slit in them um this is a size small i definitely would not have gotten a size small with seeing how small this waist is if i had a choice but they only had small and this was i think let's see $15 down from $68 and this really does feel like good material. They All of the stuff is branded Molly Green so they don't uh, sell any other brands there. Um, this is just really really pretty. I couldn't leave the store without it because I just don't have anything else like this so I really look forward to putting this together with something um, and definitely wearing a very thick necklace with it. I think that would be so pretty so this is an exciting buy so next up i wonder if like other people who do youtube videos if they lose their breath like sometimes i lose my breath and i'm like is it because i'm fat it's because i'm like not healthy is it because i have a heart problem is it because i'm nervous like i'm an overthinker that's the kind of stuff that i think about when i'm like okay next up and i'm like am i dying <laughs> that's okay <laughs> So next up, we, <laughs> we have a dress. It is a um, like a slip dress with a tank top sort of, uh, what are these called? Straps, <laughs> tank top sort of straps here. Um, it almost gives me 90 vibes. A lot of the things gave me 90s vibes actually in that, in that store, which is not a problem. They had a ton of velvet things, pretty much I'd say 80 or 70 percent of the stuff in the warehouse sale today was velvet of some kind um and i think maybe they're doing away with it which is why they had like this big warehouse of velvet sale that should have been called the velvet the velvet warehouse sale or the warehouse of velvet <laughs> i shouldn't even try warehouse of velvet sale um but anyway i think this is so pretty it's super thick it's like triple lined it's got the velvet on the bottom velvet on top i'm gonna wear this with a belt and a denim jacket okay so next up we have a simple dress this is the cheapest thing i got it was five dollars um this is a size medium it was originally 18 so it really wasn't that expensive to begin with um i just think this is really cute because as you know i have a ton of kimonos so i always need a solid colored thing to put under the kimonos um and this is going to be perfect it's flared at the bottom like an a-line and then i'm going to put a necklace and of course a signature belt okay so next up we have this black thing it reminded me of a witch that's why i bought it ten dollars and down from sixty dollars this is a medium which looks perfect it's got all of these bells and whistles on here it's got like um a bow that you can tie in the back like a ribbon and it is kind of like what does it say here no it just says dress black um this is sheer definitely will wear a tank top underneath it's got the witchy arms um and then it's pretty long actually it's a little past my knees um but i think it's gonna look really really cool i feel like i could even open this and make this a kimono um so looking forward to that okay the bag is empty finally the very last thing that we have here is a velvet of course kimono of course full circle um so this is floor length um it also comes with a ribbon that you can tie or you can take it off if you don't want that or you can switch it out with a different belt it has pockets in the front and it is a super cool pattern as you can see there um so i'm really looking forward to it, it has about three quarters sleeve three quarter length sleeves um it almost looks like a hugh hefner like smoking jacket in kimono form with the um the black uh 
trim <laughs> with the black trim here um but i think it's gonna look super super cool i am super looking forward to wearing this um, that's pretty much it that's everything so i will definitely share how these outfits come out with you guys or you can follow me on instagram at your fuzzy scarf and please 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 subscribe to this channel if you love hauls you love fashion you love shoes as much as me i would love to share my life and share everything that i buy with you guys um that is not a wedding proposal but maybe get to know me better and maybe i'm already married but I don't know polygamy exists sometimes so please subscribe um and i would love to have you here and i'd love to continue uh sharing my stuff with you so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again soon bye